Alrighty, sorry about that. Getting back to uh, to playing here, finding that he crashed UFO. No fatalities yet. That's good. Move Joe along here. Joe's our man. As long as he doesn't die, <laughs> we won't have to cheat. Well, it's not really cheating. Um, I mean, if you have a load save game thing available, you might as well take advantage of it. For a lot of people, it may seem annoying, and uh, honestly, when I first started doing it, I wasn't too sure about it either. But uh, honestly, <coughs> excuse me, the way I've uh, kind of put it together in, in this kind of format of having fodder that doesn't really matter, and then having uh, others that really do, makes it a kind of good compromise, um, because I, I'm used to throwaways and people dying, but having some dependable ones with really good stats to start with anyway is a, is a good way to start things so it's been working out well for me at least in the original XCOM and I'm hoping it'll continue to do so here in Terror from the Deep so I guess we'll uh, we'll see so <clears throat> and again excuse me for uh, coughing, clearing my throat, whatever I am still getting over this cold and, uh, apologize for that. But anyway, enough of my boring commentary crap. Let's uh, keep moving here. So, I think that's it. Yep. Alright, let's save it. Oh! Oh! No! Oh, man! Someone got pwned! Oh, I hope that wasn't James. Was that James? Oh, no, it wasn't. It was fodder. Cool. So, one fodder down! Two for two in missions so far. So first, first blood by me, revenge by the alien. That must have been a little bastard that uh, hit uh, through that nade that one turn. Let's see if uh, James can spot him. Nope, and he really doesn't have much more to move little bugger. Looks like Olga either panicked or something. Because the idiot won't move. Don't know. Let's get my tank down in here. Man. Just a little closer. Ah, sweet. And we can fire. Get him. Boom! Tank ponage. I love it. Nice. So we got the little punk. All right. That's a good way to get revenge on the fodder. So, since this is a downed UFO, but this was a pretty, uh, it was a small UFO, but it was pretty big for a small UFO, so there might be quite a few more. Usually on downed UFOs, sometimes there's some fatalities depending on how bad the damage is. Uh, and uh, we'll have to see exactly how bad it is. <coughs> Excuse me. I really do apologize about that. If I could uh, cough another way, I would. I'm trying. Uh, my apologies to you viewers. Let's see here. It's quiet so far. Sky. The hell was that, man? Ugh, the AI. Okay. Let's get Rosso in here. Gotta watch it. The last thing I want is for James to get hit now. That was Coral. <laughs> Did you see how much time units that took off of him? Isn't that insane? Let me at least get old with Neil. Alright, let's save it. No deaths. That's always a good thing. Find that blasted UFO. Where is it? Still don't see it. Tanks are also good for scouting, so even if you are using uh, a non-modified XCOM, 
with uh, without or, or using XCOM utility but decide not to use the approved tanks, you can still find good uses for the tanks. And um, obviously, as things go up in the tanks, you can do research on them with different weapons. And you'll see that as I get the uh, Goss tank here soon, hopefully. <laughs> All right, okay. Man, that just... That coral just kills your time units. I don't know why. It just does. Let's see if we can find the UFO. Ah, there it is. Right here. You can see the hole we blasted in it. It looks like there's one corpse there. So there is one alien dead. Yep, see? There's one alien down from the damage. And we got a nice hole here that our uh, flying sub uh, did. So we found our way in. And honestly, I'm going to use that as a way in because it's just going <clears> to... <throat> excuse me. It's just going to work better. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm just use all your time units. Here's two guy, get over here. Get these guys down here since we know where we're going. Okay. You gotta watch these pipelines here. Seriously. If you shoot one of these things and it hits, these things will blow up. They're like supposed to be oil pipelines or something. And no kidding, they will blow up. So you really gotta watch it when you're firing around these things. And uh, it's definitely not the greatest place to put these guys, but uh, I don't have much of a choice for them to go around it. And uh, they're not going to have anything to shoot at, hopefully. So, but yeah, definitely watch out for those pipelines. Good. So far, so good. You know, I think my tank will fit through there, too. That's good. That's always good, because usually most small UFOs uh, won't fit. He'll at least be able to get in here. It looks like he can fit through the front, too, so he'll at least be able to get in here and take a look at uh, what we're dealing with. Man, we did a lot of damage. I'm going to leave him right, right here for now, because he doesn't have much time units left. Excuse me, my goodness. So yeah, it looks like our improved weapons uh, mod thing from XCOM Utility uh, makes clips for the Goss rifle not needed. Basically, makes them a lot like laser weapons, which I guess is cool. I just wish I would have realized that sooner, because then I could have used them in the last mission. Um, and it's good to know that. So that means all the clips we made. Just to make sure, I can go ahead and sell, and uh, I'll make some money off of them then, so that's nice. Waste a little extra time, but that's okay. Uh, whatever it takes. Alright. Try not to spend all the time in here for some of these guys. But I am on some of the others, just to get them close enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really feel bad for all this coughing and stuff while talking to you guys through here. I know it's not the most riveting commentary that way. And uh, I apologize. Alright, let's end our turn. Oh, there's one. Yep, there's one inside. Let's go get him. I think our tank can get him. Oh, yeah. This might be the only one left. BAM, baby! Oh, man, yeah, we did some massive damage to this UFO. Look at that. That's just from conventional weapons. Wow. I'm impressed. You know, I'm going to go on a wild guess and say that's it. I'm going to say that's probably it, so in turn. And I was right. So, not bad at all. There was a lot of corpses. We killed a lot of aliens just shooting it down, apparently. Some massive damage. And uh, then, we, of course, we killed the only remaining three left. No live aliens found, but that's alright. We got some great artifacts. We did lose a soldier. So, not the best run ever, but not the worst either. So, uh, not too shabby at all. Let's get back to the base here. We want to sell some stuff. Primarily, um, we want to sell 
let me see here. Where is our corpses? Well, first let's sell our harpoons because we don't need those no more. And uh, Zerbide, Sonic Cannon, Sonic Blastic Rifle. That's the alien one if you're wondering. In fact, I'm going to sell a lot of the Sonic Pistols because I don't need a whole bunch of them. Uh, Aquatoid Corpse. There we go. Sell all but one of those. And I'm going to sell those and I want to take a look at my submarine. I want to see if any... Yeah, it's not using the rifle clips at all. So we're just going to sell them. 